Hi everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am very good. Popped a seat right here in the middle of a VIP area on the field as Kansas State wins this game 45 to 18. K State looked really good and uh, this team's progressing. You know, the thing about this season is it's really rugged on these Wildcats. We knew that going in because they had you know, so many road games, only six at home this year, and uh, you know, some challenges out on the road. They've now played three big road, Big 12 road games, all of them at night. At least this one wasn't late night. And oh yeah, if you haven't seen, the KU game will be at night next week at the Bill, 7 p.m. So uh, this team has kind of moved into the prime time, so to speak. And this goes with being a winning team. K-State is pulling some pretty good ratings for the Big 12, and they're a pretty good product. And Avery Johnson, Dylan Edwards, DJ Giddens, and that defense are all things that the national media are interested in. It's a good story. But Chris Kleiman has brought this team along. He and his coaches have done a masterful job of taking what wasn't a very good product at the start of the year. Think about what that team looked like at Tulane. And now they've won back-to-back -back at Colorado and West Virginia. And I think we saw also on Saturday that Colorado's a darn good football team. They went into Arizona and absolutely destroyed those Wildcats. So I think we're getting a pretty good grasp of how this team can play. And the good news is they've still got more to do. They've got a lot more they can accomplish and, and prove this season. But they're inching towards a really good product and a team that can compete at very high levels. They survived some scares. And maybe what happened at Provo actually was a good thing. It showed them where their weaknesses were and what they need to really be careful with. They want to be careful that they don't let turnovers lead to more trouble. They don't want to let teams kind of get on a roll. And we saw that against Oklahoma State where they were having some issues, but they righted the wrongs and got going. And now this team is really fighting themselves. They're growing into an identity, a physical defense and an explosive offense with a running game that you can't mess with. You have to try to take away that running game because this offensive line owned the point of attack. They weren't able to move the, the ball a whole lot on the running game because they were outnumbered, but K-State said, okay, we'll just protect Avery Johnson and let him throw the ball. They're now a dual threat offense and the fact that they can run it and beat you or they can throw it and beat you. Now that's something they put on film and they will kind of intimidate future opponents with that identity. This is a fun team, and this is a team filled with really good characters and great kids. Uh, Avery is entertaining, informative, and kind of a cool hand. He is a true sophomore that just played back-to-back -back road games in big environments and looked really good. And Chris Kleiman has this team clicking right now. And for the first time this season, it's something I talked about before the game, is that this team has five games left in the regular season and they have three of them at home. It's the first time this year where they face an opportunity to have more home games than road games on the schedule. They play Kansas, they go to Houston. They got three out of four on the road. It's a tough task. Probably will be at night. You just know how that's been going. Um, and th then they got two at home after a week off. So if you can get through these next two games with Kansas and Houston, who played also on Saturday, Kansas won that game, you'll be in really good shape heading down the home stretch. <laughs> That's it from Morgantown. Got an early flight in the morning. Got to get back to the hotel so I can sleep a few hours and, and get on the road. But Cats win here, big win. Avery Johnson delivers, but Chris Kleiman continues to look, deliver good football to Kansas State fans. And I think this season is going to stay pretty good.